party time it was a month filled with celebrations mayank and his team's groundbreaking business proposal was accepted by leadership team and the organization was thriving adding to the festivities it was gurmeet's work anniversary too the entire team came together and had a blast well folks uh, it was amazing to collectively celebrate our victories let's call it a day i'll meet you tomorrow thanks for the surprise party man it was absolute fun glad you enjoyed uh, before we leave uh, can someone quickly clean up the place the meeting room is booked by another team and they will be here any minute i have a call in 10 minutes and need to push off ahlia please ensure we hand over the room in a proper condition of course since we all celebrated together why don't we all clean up together hey this won't take long you can do it that's precisely what i wanted to say this won't take long we can do it Why is cleaning, taking down minutes of meeting, planning events given exclusively to women professionals most of the time? Isn't everyone equally responsible for such tasks? Ahalia is right. In my previous organization, I was the one who had to take down minutes of the meeting. When I suggested that everyone in the team could take turns to do it, I was mocked for not willing to take up additional responsibilities. I must admit, I hadn't considered this perspective before. Maybe you both have a valid point. Office housework is generally handed over to women who often go unrecognized for their contributions. Exactly. And tasks with more visibility like representing the company at events usually go to men. Leaders need to be more mindful when delegating responsibilities. I get where you're coming from. Uh, you remind me of Kali. the powerful incarnation of goddess durga goddess kali fought with rakta bija and drank his blood without allowing it to fall on the earth this way she stopped the replication of demons won the battle and saved the god kali took a powerful form to destroy evil and restore peace in the world you ahalya raised your powerful voice and helped us uncover our unconscious bias towards women professionals by your indignant response thank you for taking a stand and urging us to join you ahilya's courage in speaking up sparked a positive change reminding us of the importance of assertiveness to express oneself in a firm yet respectful manner let's pledge to act against unfair practices we see around us Also, let's join hands to create a fair and just world where everyone feels heard and valued. With this insightful learning, we wrap up today's thoughtful Tuesdays episode. This episode drew inspiration from the story of Goddess Kali, a transcendent deity in Hindu mythology. Stay tuned for more thought-provoking content and for a continuous dose of insightfulness. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Grow with Satori.